Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today I want to show you how to filter uh, the option set fields value based on uh, some conditions. Uh, for example, uh, you can see I have several, I have three forms. So in this form, in the current form, I don't expect the value of the value rejected be shown in this form. And also in the uh, information form, I don't expect the value approved uh, to be shown here. So, okay, let's get started. So we need to, uh, to, uh, to develop some uh, JavaScript codes uh, to realize that. Okay, firstly, let, let's go to the uh, this form uh, uh, editor. So we need to create the JavaScript code and go to the form property. Okay, firstly, we need to create a new uh, library, create a new. So let's name it uh, like um, filter option set value. Just Keep the same this name, display name. I uh, can add some blank here. Okay, so the type we choose JavaScript and the language is fine. Just uh, click text editor. So here I have some sample I can uh, later I can share with you. Uh, okay. Okay, let's go through the uh, the script uh, script. Okay, maybe we can use this, would be better. Okay, just use this one. Mm. Oh. Okay, it's fine. Let, let's just uh, say this. Okay, so the first line just gets, it's, it's, it's normal uh, operation, right? It's, uh, it's normal steps. We get the, uh, the context and uh, um, Define the variable for form name, so and get uh, the get the the current form, and just add a protection if it's now. So uh, if it's not now, we just uh, oh maybe we just uh, it's not now. We just get the form name, and yeah, here I think we okay. It's fine. Um, and here, uh, the application, we just get uh, the control, the field. This field is, is the option set uh, field uh, schema name, or just, uh, yeah, schema name. And get control and uh, add a protection. If it's now, it's not now, we can, we, we can go, go ahead. So we just switch the form name. If the form name is if this is if this name, we just uh, use this step. Application status. This application status is get control of of this option set. Just use this one. Remove option. And in the bracket, we just we just we just uh, fill in the the values. Uh, I mean the option values value. Okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, let me show you. Uh, let's go to the uh, here. Okay, let's have a look at the field. The field here is application status. So we we go to the uh, it's option set value, right? So if uh, you can see there's so many values here or options here, so we just get the rejected. Uh, options value. We just copy this, and for approved, we just copy this. Just remember uh, to remove the comma. We we uh, the only number and uh, only is number. Uh, just remove the comma. So yeah, we get the number here. Then we uh, we just fill in here. So we just remove this option. Um, so. 0 to uh, so this should be rejected we just this step we just re remove reject rejected option 
this step we just remove approved option. Yeah, then that's it. So this uh, script is very easy and very simple. So uh, I I will uh, put this script in the in the description in the in the video's description for reference. Then we just click uh, copy the uh, function name. Click OK. Um, then uh, save and publish. Okay. Uh, then close it. And just go ahead, then add. Then we need trigger the function. So uh, in the uh, form onload event, we just click add and choose the library. We just created a newly created a filter option set value and function is filter set value. We just copy it from the script, right? And just remember to check this. Click OK and save and publish. So if we if we want uh, the JavaScript works uh, on the several forms, so we need to add this um, JavaScript to to every form. So let's go to the form here. So we want want it to be working in information form as well. So let's open it. Then click the form property and. Uh, and uh, yeah, just uh, add. It's a filter. Mm. Filter options at value. So, yeah, this one just said, uh, um, yeah, and same step add functions here click ok then save and publish then we go to no they would go to here okay so let's refresh so in this form, in the information form, there I just I don't expect the approved value uh, be showing here. So you can see the approved has been uh, removed. So let's switch to this form. So uh, the rejected option is not supposed to be here, right? Rejected has been has been removed by the script. So. Yeah, that's it. Uh, that's it. So um, hopefully uh, this uh, video will be helpful for you to filter uh, the option set, um, field options uh, based on um, the uh, conditions. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Thank you so much. See you next time.